Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Viva Laughing Posh. So today's video is going to be a basically unboxing review kind of for the Dermacol foundation that has been like going around crazy on the internet. It's supposed to be the fullest coverage foundation. I think they even use it as a concealer, but so yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys my demo slash review for the Dermacol foundations. The ones that I did see with people demoing them that were people of color, they were not in English. So I just figured I would buy the three darkest colors to show you guys how they look on my skin complexion. I'm very tan, so you guys can get kind of like a feel of the color that you would need. Um, MAC foundation, I do not know my color in MAC foundation, but I'm usually like a caramel, hazelnut, amber color. So these are how the foundations look. I actually got three of them. So I got the three darkest shades just to show you guys and I ordered these from eBay. So I'm just going to go ahead and first I'm going to swatch them on my skin and then I'm going to use them on my face. As you guys can see I have not done my um, foundation yet so I wanted to save that for to use this stuff. First, we're going to start with the darkest color, which is 224. So I'm just going to open the box. I already pre-opened them because I wanted to see how full coverage they were, and they really are super full coverage. So this is how the tube looks when you get it. And when you first get it, it comes closed, and you have to open it with the back. So this is the darkest color. Again, this is in color 224. So I'm just going to swatch it on the back of my hand. I'm just going to put a little dot there. And I'm just going to swipe it down. So this is how the darkest color is. 224. Which is not really that dark if you think about it. It's, this is like really close to my skin color. So for the darkest color to be close to my skin color, that's not very dark. The next color is going to be in color 223. I'm just going to take a little dab and put it on my arm next to that one. And then I'm just going to swipe it down. I feel like this color is more like a paler tan color. This color and the last color that I got, I got three colors. And this color is going to be in the color 222. So I'm just going to put a dot here. Ooh, this one is like losing out. I actually want to use this one for concealer because this is a light color. I mean, it's not too light, but it'll be nice for a concealer for my skin color. So these are the darkest, the three darkest colors. And as you guys can see, these colors are not like dark at all. I would say the darkest complexion that could use this is basically my skin color or maybe a little darker. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not even, maybe I wouldn't even be able to use it once I put it on my face. We're going to see, but this is how they look. So this is the first one right here is 224. This is 223 and this is 222. Now I'm just going to wipe this off of my hand because I don't want to make a mess and then I'm going to start to apply this as my foundation. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the darkest color. I might mix it with this second color here because this color has less of like an orange hint to it. So I'm just going to start by applying the color 224 to my face. And we're going to see if this matches my skin color. <laughs> I use a brush like this to apply my foundation because sometimes my hands can get like really dirty. So I'm just going to use this brush and I'm going to take some of the foundation. And I'm basically going to dot it. This might be like the perfect color for my skin. Just for now because once summer like really comes, I get really, really dark, really tan, really fast. <laughs> so you guys see, I'm just gonna apply a nice layer because this is supposed to be the most full color foundation. So we're about to test it out. So because I wanna get the most full coverage as I can, I'm gonna use this brush. It's like really stiff and 
it's not like too loose so it will spread really nice so as you guys can see it's kind of light for my skin kind of so I might have to add like a few dark um, drops of foundation to it But this is definitely full coverage. <laughs> I don't want to start to dry my face, so I'm just gonna blend it out. This stuff is like super even coverage. is like super full coverage I have freaking ghost face so I'm gonna have to put darker foundation on top of it <laughs> this stuff is really full coverage ghost face ghost face oh ghost face ghost face <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with the lightest color which is 222 and I'm gonna use this as a concealer you guys this is like so much makeup i do not wear this much makeup you guys know i don't wear like crazy makeup like this this is a lot of makeup Penny is sitting on my lap. I'm just going to blend in this concealer. Well, this is foundation, but I'm using it as concealer. And this stuff is really super full coverage like look at my face <laughs> now since the darkest color is like close to my skin tone I can't really use that as a contour so I'm just going to use my regular cream contour from wet n wild So I'm just going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm going to use one of the light shades to set my under eye basically wherever I um, conceal. And I'm not going to um, let this bake. Well, yeah, so after I set my under eye and wherever I conceal, I'm going to go in with this really dense brush so I can try to wipe away all of the powder that I could. contour palette and I'm going to set my contour with a darker color. So 
So for blush, I'm going to use the same BH Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm going to use the pink. As you guys can see, this pink is very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So then I'm going to take the same shade that I used to contour my face, the powder, and I'm going to put a little bit on my nose, basically to set my nose contour. So you guys, this is some full coverage freaking makeup. <laughs> This would be awesome for like you just want to slay your face and maybe you have like dark spots or acne spots or whatever blemishes whatever this foundation is freaking a month <laughs> this foundation would be freaking amazing for that okay guys so that's gonna be it for this demo I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I hope it was helpful um, as you guys can see the Dermacool foundation does not really come in shades for darker colored people so that really sucks I think they should definitely work on that because it is awesome full coverage foundation as you guys can see when I apply it on my face but until next time I'm gonna catch you guys later bye